Oh, happy day. How you doing? The video that y'all been waiting for. And uh, I kind of locked myself in to doing the video. I had some stuff to do today. I got to go to work. I got to do this and do that. But because I promised y'all I was going to give y'all a video, I'm coming through with my promise. I said I was going to do it this weekend. So I got to, I got to keep my word about it. All right. The video is about uh, how to... Uh, get a pardon and your restoration of rights in the state of Georgia. So what I'm doing is I'm a, I'm gonna do a little screen recording a step by step, but I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit before uh I play that. All right, basically um uh, basically I was a very bad person when I was young, okay? You know what I'm saying? So you should not have to pay. My whole thing is you should not have to pay for mistakes that you made for the rest of your life okay i've been turned down for numerous jobs numerous job opportunities numerous contracts in my business because once they pull you know um once they pull my criminal background check it always said convicted of armed robbery did 16 years in prison all right um and that don't define me today you understand that so i'm pretty sure there's people out there that always getting turned down can't get the education that you want because why you can't you can't uh get the uh the place you know move where you want to move or do this and do that hell i was turned down for airbnb airbnb kicked me out because of my background uber after doing uber i did uber for like two and a half years uh that was before uber was doing background checks they did a background check on me never had a complaint most of the time i had five stars um and uber decided to kick me out why because of my background i'm a businessman i don't i don't i'm not into breaking the law and do or doing the, the things that i was doing uh once upon a time in my life when i was young and stupid i'm grown now i'm a grown man now so why should I have to pay for the things that I did in the 90s? No, it's not going to be like that. I'm not accepting it. You know what I'm saying? So I was told I couldn't get a CDL. I got my CDL. I got hazmat. Hazmat mean I could carry chemicals uh, or everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was told I couldn't get that. I passed the federal background check on that. I was told I couldn't get a TWIC card. TWIC is going in and out of the ports. I was told I couldn't. Uh, get a passport. I got my passport. TSA pre-check. I got all that. I was told I couldn't vote. I vote. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I got tired of people telling me I can't, 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 can't. I can't do this. So don't nothing motivate me more than somebody telling me when I can't do something. You understand what I'm saying? So they told me I couldn't get that pardon. Oh, you was convicted of armed robbery. They'll never give you a pardon. Come on. All right, that they told me that I couldn't do. All right. Now I want to show each and every person because I know the pain and the hurt that you experience when you can't do this or you can't do that. You can't carry weapons. You can't buy a gun. None of that. I'm here to show you how to do it. Now they gave me everything. They 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 gave me everything. All right. It says uh. Whereas an application for a pardon has been filed by the above named individual and whereas having investigated the material facts to the pardon application, which investigation has established to the satisfactory of the board that the pardon applicant has been crime free for over six years and a law abiding citizen and is fully rehabilitated. Okay. There, pursuant to Article 4, Section 2, Paragraph 2 of the Constitution of the State of Georgia, the board, without implying innocence, hereby unconditionally fully pardons said individual and is, and it is hereby ordered that all disabilities under Georgia law resulting from the above stated convictions and sentences as well as any other Georgia conviction and sentences imposed thereto be 
and each and all hereby removed and furthermore all civil and political rights except the right to receive possess and transport a commerce or, or transport in commerce a firearm lost under Georgia law as well resort above stated convictions and sentences as well as any other convictions convictions and sentences imposed thereto and hereby each and all are hereby restored okay <sighs> that except like I'm I'm just trying to figure out why y'all had to to take away from greatness okay they did they did they said accept the gun rights so that's okay that's okay what i do is i'm gonna continue doing what i i said i was gonna do all right um they 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 do let you appeal that in two years so i'm gonna go back but i'm i'm probably gonna go before court and everything because they gave me the ammunition i needed you said i'm rehabilitated that mean give me everything back you know what i'm saying so don't be discouraged uh about that but that just tells you that you can get your firearms you can be a convicted felon and get your firearms rights back that's what's most important to us so um you know the pardon it it it, it keeps them from um using my com my convictions against me because everything from that day on back it don't even count no more so that's what's most important um um so um my thing is uh you tired of people holding you back and telling you what you can't do all right you show them what you can do you show them what you can do that's my little carry along card i camera carry this with me everywhere i'm very proud of that um that is a badge of honor to be able to come from where i came from and then and then redeem redeem so you know to all my rappers and um rappers and football players and you know, whoever else, man, whoever else, if y'all need help, man, reach out to me, man, and I can point y'all in the right direction, starting with this video, past this video. Uh, the book is coming. I'm going to get the book out uh, very, very soon. It, I'm actually back, starting back, uh, finishing it off now because a pardon is the perfect thing um, to end it, a perfect way to end it, but... um. I just need y'all to stay strong. Keep doing what you do. Keep doing the right thing. If you have information to help people, pass it on. You know, I, I've been from day one. Anytime somebody asks me for some advice on something, whether it's trucking, whether it's running a business, whether it's doing this or doing that, I always help it. Information is made to be passed on. Stop hiding that information. You know, that's how I pay back. Uh, that's how I pay it, pay it, pay it back for all of the wrong stuff that I did do. I pay it forward to try to help somebody else accomplish the things that they need to accomplish in life. Because you get tired of being told what you can't do. You know what I'm saying? Because of your past. So I want you people to stay strong, man. I want y'all to stay strong. Follow these directions. And um, contact me, man. Follow me on Facebook. Subscribe to my channel. Share my videos, man. Follow me on TikTok, man. I'm lit on TikTok, man. Them folks love me over there. But anyway, um, I just want y'all, man. This is a video about how to uh, get your pardon. Pass it to whoever need to be passed to. Let's go. Let's get it. Check the video. Love y'all. Okay, here we go, step by step. Let's go. How, how do I obtain a governor's pardon in the state of Georgia? According to Georgia Justice Project, 
application, which is included in these instructions or can be found on the website for the State Board of Pardon and Paroles at http colon slash slash pap dot georgia dot gov slash pardons dash restoration dash rights. Please note that page two of the application must be notarized. Certified copies of required missing dispositions. All right, so you're going to uh, see a series of links and uh, probably can download the application right off of uh, one of these links or go straight to the Pardons and Parole Board website in Georgia. All right, let's go with this one right here. Frequently asked questions, okay? What is a pardon? If you have a felony conviction in Georgia, you cannot get it restricted from your criminal history no matter how much time has passed. You may, however, be eligible for a pardon. A pardon is an order of official forgiveness and is granted for those individuals who may have maintained a good reputation in their community following the completion of their sentences. Pardons in Georgia are granted by the State Board of Pardons and Parole and may help you advance in employment, housing, or education. Okay, so that's one of the things, the main thing that a pardon can do. It can help you in employment because I have been turned down for numerous jobs, numerous employment opportunities that I was clearly, uh, clearly qualified for. But every time they ran my name, my criminal convictions would come up. So that was a major, major hindrance to the point to where Hey, I had to start lying about it. You know what I'm saying? Just to, in order to get a job. You're not breaking the law. You know? Um, and, at, and at that point, the jobs that had found out about, about it after a certain amount of time, it was too late. They had already seen my work ethic. You know? So I had proved myself in more ways than one. I done got numerous uh awards at jobs and you know put up major numbers and everything and it's just that um you know they kept looking at something that i was convicted for in 1998 you know so if nothing else the pardon is going to help you to be able to advance yourself in employment housing uh i give you a very very good example um, I think I tried to order an Airbnb because of my criminal background. I got denied. I never had ordered an Airbnb a day in my life. I tr the one time that I tried to order it, um, on some business, I think I was out of town on a business trip or something like that. I couldn't get it because of my criminal history. So now that I got the pardon, I stepped right back to um i will step right back to airbnb and let them know hey i've been forgiven in the state of georgia another example um i was with uber for two or three years before they started running criminal background checks once they ran a cr criminal background check after no complaints in my service after two years, they kicked me out. Why? Because of my criminal background check. So this pardon opens the door for so many things on so many levels. That's why you have to get it. All right. Uh, and, and there's a lot of grants and education and th educational things that you could do and that you'll qualify for if you're not a convicted felon. So that's what a pardon is all about. All right. Another question right here. Will a pardon restrict or seal my conviction from my criminal history? No, a pardon will not restrict, erase, or seal any charge from your criminal history. 
you will receive a certificate of rehabilitation and it will be noted on your Georgia criminal history record. Okay. So I did check that out. Um, my pardon it is on my GCIC, but, uh, the thing about it is once you receive that pardon, you've been forgiven for what you did. So no longer can somebody hold that against me because I serve my time. I got out from serving my time and I was a very productive member of society. So on top of all that, now the state of Georgia has investigated me thoroughly and said, hey, he's he's rehabilitated. So he deserves to be forgiven for what he did. Everybody should be forgiven if they make a mistake, you know. So on to the next question. Um, am I eligible for a pardon? Okay. You have been convicted of a felony offense in Georgia. You completed all your sentences at least five years before applying. This means that you have been off parole or probation for this period. You have lived a law abiding life. No convictions in the last five years. You do not have any pending charges, open cases, and all your restitutions and fines are paid. Okay, those are the qualifications. If you meet those qualifications, you can apply for a pardon. Okay. Um, there's one exception, and we'll get to that a little bit later. There's one exception if you're trying to uh, get it done before the five years is up. There's one exception. Okay, and I talk about that in a second. Let me see. Okay, and here it is. Talking about it right now. What if I need a misdemeanor, pardon, or can't wait five years? A pardon is generally for a felony conviction. And normally, you must wait five years after completing your sentences to apply. Occasionally, the state and pardon, I'm sorry, occasionally the state board will grant you an exception to these requirements, but they are rare. See State Board of Pardons and Parole website. Okay, and these are the exceptions. Exceptions may be considered for the following reasons. Adoption, custody, foster care, daycare. Uh, section 8 housing, driving a truck into Canada, education, employment, immigration, peace, officer, standard training, council. Okay. So those are the reasons that you can try to get it within five years. You know, most of you, I think. I, I believe most of the people that's inquiring uh, about their rights, I, I'm willing to bet you they've been out of trouble longer than five years. So I'm pretty sure most of you will qualify uh, to, to, to file a pardon in Georgia. All right. Next thing. All right. And this is big for people because a lot of people, a lot of times people think that, oh, I need to get a lawyer and I need to pay this amount of money and everything and that amount of money. I didn't pay any lawyer. I did all this myself and it was easy and you can do it. All right. So here's the next question. Do I need to file? Uh, do I need an attorney to file a pardon? Okay. There's no cost to apply for a pardon. You do not need an attorney. Beware that it can take up to nine months for your application to be considered. Okay. So I think after the after after they took uh nine months, I believe it was. It took they took pro probably the whole nine months. And then uh I had my 
home visit. But of course, due to COVID-19, it, it had to be uh, on the phone, over the phone. So after the completion of the, vi you know, the uh, the phone interview, um, it took an additional, I think, five months for them to make their decision. And that's why I got the uh, paper restoring rights. All right. Let's see. Okay. Can I get a pardon for my first offender case? Okay, this is a big one. Can I get a, a pardon for dismiss or dead DACA cases? Now, I suspect like if you if, if any of you was like me, I suspect that um, you have a lot of dead DACA cases. You wasn't convicted for every single thing that you did. All right. You don't need a pardon for dead DACA cases. If any case has been dead docketed or dismissed, you can have that removed from your record. Um, you just have to check with each and every county uh, that you had the cases applied in. Uh, I think like Cobb County, the cases that I had dead docketed, I think it cost twenty five dollars per case or something like that um, for them to remove it uh, from my record. Uh, didn't take maybe a couple of weeks a month or whatever uh fulton county uh removes them for free um i don't know about the cab or clayton or surrounding counties so some of them may charge a small fee to remove uh uh some of them will be free all you have to do is file the necessary paperwork to remove dead docket cases and dismiss cases off your record all right all right, here's a good question right here. Um, what are my chances for getting a pardon? According to a recent study, 38% of applications for pardons are approved. So basically, if you if you do everything that you're supposed to do and you walk in a straight line, I mean, like I said, my conviction was armed robbery. That's right up in there with deadly seven you know, in the state of Georgia. So if they pardon me for an armed robbery, you can get it for just about anything. I mean, they look at armed robbery as a murder charge, basically. But you can you can get pardoned for uh just about anything. Um I know people that have been pardoned for murder. So um you have to just keep believing in yourself and keep on doing what you're supposed to do. I think myself personally, I think that number of 38% is much, much higher. Georgia is pretty good for sending people to prison, but they also are pretty good for pardoning people is what I was told. So I think that number is higher than 38%. Long as you're doing what you're supposed to do, you'll get it. Big question. If I get a pardon, do I have the right to possess a firearm? A pardon does not restore your right to own and carry a firearm, but you can apply to get a restoration of right to receive, possess, or transport in commerce of a firearm at the same time you apply for your pardon. You must meet all of the eligible requirements for the pardon as well as submit three letters of recommendation and have a personal interview uh i did have to submit uh three letters of recommendation i think i probably turned in like five you know from some very very reputable people um and um So you have to get a piece of paper notarized, notarizing them to be able to do that in order to try to get a uh, your rights to carry a firearm. And the bottom line, uh, you know how to how to get a pardon in Georgia. Okay, I'm not going to read y'all all that. The link is in the description, but this is pretty much uh, the criteria 
that it takes and what you can uh, look to uh, uh, what to look for um, in your quest to, rem you know, uh, get your felony conviction pardon, which is the ultimate goal. This is major. Do not sleep on this. This is a major, major accomplishment. And if you have had a felony conviction that it has stopped you from doing this, that, and the third, uh, this is your step to make it back to where you need to be. I take it every while. I'm proud of it. It's a badge of honor. But just a quick recap, because I know the video is a little bit longer than everybody uh, expects. Um, just a quick recap. First thing you need to do. Step number one. Go get that GCIC. Go to, uh, I go to Agnes Scott College uh, Police Department. Uh, Google in your location where can you get a GCIC criminal background check. Once you go, uh, I know at Agnes Scott it costs $10 and they do it in about five minutes. Okay, go with cash because they don't take cards. Um, get that criminal background check. Because the first thing you need to do, if you got any dead docket cases, uh, they have to be closed because dead docket uh, cases are looked at as being still open. So close those dead docket cases and the way that you close them is filing for a record restriction that's what it's called it's not an expungement uh it's called a record restriction fulton county does it for free cobb county 25 dollars per case i don't know about clayton henry uh i don't know about DeKalb. um i don't know about surrounding counties douglas i don't know but but if you've been out of trouble for a, a, a good period of time, they have no problem with uh, restricting your cases. All right. Once you clear that off, go and do your GCIC again. When you do your GCIC again, those records should be gone. So you should be two or three less arrests on your GCIC or whatever. But you have to have dispositions on all your cases whether it's conviction or dismissal so since i was going around doing the dead docket cases i went on ahead and filed record restrictions for the dismissed cases because the dismissed cases mean hey i'm innocent so i took all of those arrests and condensed them down to the three convictions the com uh the conviction for armed robbery in cobb county uh a conviction for a self having an inmate with a cell phone in Hall County and an inmate having a cell phone in Spalding County. Um, and I think it was uh, driving with a suspended license two times or something like that and something else. It was The other three was misdemeanors. Um, they were simple. So I condensed my GCIC down to those six dispositions once you do that then you can file your paperwork the necessary paperwork uh it um go ahead on and get everything you need notarized go ahead on and get your letter of references they the letters of reference have to be notarized get you some notable people teachers uh the, the pastor a uh, doctor uh police whoever Get them people to notarize your character saying who you are. Let them tell their story of who you are. Have a date on it. Get it notarized. Um, and then next, get everything done. Get everything accumulated. All the award certificates, whatever you did in prison, whatever you done out of prison, uh, your GED. Get everything that you done done from the day that you... Uh, committed the crime and it got found guilty let them see everything that you have done since then all right get all that together get everything notarized take it to the georgia state uh 
Georgia State train station is the pardon. That's where the pardons and parole office is. Take it to them. Submit the paperwork. The, the free, the fee as of now is zero. So I don't know if they're gonna change it or whatever. It's zero dollars right now. So it's on you if you want to change your life and you tired of getting rejected for jobs, uh, apartments, uh, um, anything. All right. Get that stuff off your record. Pistol. You know, you tired of getting rejected uh, for, for getting a gun? Get that pardon and you're going to get it back. Uh, so, like and, like the video, share, subscribe. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you for your support, man. It was a long road. It wasn't easy, easy. But I'm here now and it's only the beginning. I promise you, I'm going to continue to give you more production in life. I'm going to atone for everything that I did a million times over before it's over with. Take this video and share it. Subscribe, people. I need all the subscriptions possible so I could get the content out further. Let's go. Share. Love y'all. Let's get it.